Hello guys, welcome back. In this video we are going to create a massive train in Unity based on real world data and height map and I will be using the new train system in Unity, the train tools. It's not necessary but I prefer using them and if you see we have the textures taken from the Ugil maps and I applied them to the train. However, note that these textures are not very high quality and if you zoom in, you are not going to get a good quality so do not ever use them in games. You have to create your own textures and start painting, painting the train. However, this train could be used in situations that you want to showcase the location or take a good render. And also you can paint it based on these textures and the areas that you can see. So with that being said and no more further talking, let's get started. So before I start, let me just delete them. I also have to delete these. Now let's open up Google Chrome. And inside Google Chrome we have to go into train.party site wait for it to load and zoom out and take this little triangle solid sorry score to here I have picked a good location that you can export the height map from it and it exactly fits inside this square and that's here in Seattle we zoom in and right now it's uh, 18 kilometers so just reduce it to 8 kilometers so we will be getting a total of 64 kilometers in here and after that you have <coughs> set a tri uh, square in here just come to here and hit export and this is called Mercer Island however I am not going to download it again I already have it when you download it you will get a file here I have my Mercer Island here and you have to extract it in that folder and if you open it you can see your maps in here you will be getting a total of 5 maps in here and the best one to be using is the merge one. Also you will get a readme file that gives you some information especially about the place that you exported the height maps from and you can also read the information about the other maps like Aster and SRTM however we will be using the merge texture and if you come into elevation you will get the 183 meters that is our maximum height in this island so now that we have the height maps let me just close this notepad now I have my Photoshop ready in here this is for the last one so I'll just close it Now let's take the merged height map into the Photoshop and now here we have it. We have to move it, come down to here, set X and Y to 0 and Unity only accepts height maps if they are power of 2 so you should set this to 1024 and hit apply and the texture gets resized now come to resize tool and take the frame down hit enter that's what we want now if I take this right now into unity there is a problem we said that we have the maximum height of 183 meters that will be multiplied by each of these pixels in this height map so 
if you pay attention we do not have the brightest pixels in here so it means that we will not get that high I have experienced this and tried this before and the maximum height it got it was about 38 meters so what do we have to do we have to take this height map and increase the intensity so the best way to do it is just to select it and hit ctrl shift L and then now our height map has changed its tone mapping to 0 255 RGB so that's what we want to have now come into file in here and hit save as and just right there change the name to Mercer Island and save as type change it to Photoshop Raw and hit save check change this to non interlaved order and I'll leave this to Macintosh now hit ok and let's import that inside unity and let me just tell you that you have to go into package manager and install the train tools inside unity I have installed it before so now let's create a train in here 3d object train you could also go into window train and train toolbox and create it in here and I'll do it by this one and as you can see the height is 183 meters so everything is as it should be and hit create Now that you have created the train, select the train, go into settings and come down to here and hit import raw. Select the raw map that we exported from Photoshop, leave this to 16 bit, the resolution is 1024 and the byte order should be Mac and also check flip vertical. This is important, if you don't do this, you will get a flipped height map inside Unity. So Make sure to check this one, so now hit import and now you will get the map. You will also get these artifacts on the edge of the train, however uh, those are not important, you can uh, lay there, just to smooth them out. And we have the train in here, if I select my directional light and change it a bit. See if it's static. Also, it auto generate lighting. Here you can see that the maps are being created. However, I want to change this to progressive GPU so it will be much faster, as you can see. Now it's time to bring in the texture, so get back into Google Chrome, open a new tab and you could also close train that party and search in here Ching Folio Train. Open this site and immediately change it to satellite map and close this too. I'll zoom out and go to the location here zoom out one more level Now what we are going to do it's, it is to set our width and height. So set the width to be something about 3000 and the height to 
8192 and then set dimensions now it is going to render the whole image for you and this is really dependent on your computer processing power mine goes very fast take it a bit over here and where is it let me see oh here it is so we have to go down a bit here and make sure that you get everything make sure that nothing gets cut off from the screen also close this one yeah that's good now what we are going to do we are going to use a plugin in google chrome that will capture the whole screenshot for us and that is this one full page screen capture i will put a link in the description to this plugin now if i hit it it starts capturing it so just wait for it till it finishes Now you can see the whole image and just hit download in here, download image PNG, open it in folder and this will be having a very high size, for example 40 megabytes, just rename it to Mercer Island. Now get back into Photoshop and take this image in here. Mercer Island. And now we have to come down to image and we have to come down to image and canvas resize and change it to 8192 it okay and let's get back to our height maps port this one in here take it down to here resize it take this to the upper layer and change the opacity to 50% or maybe lower or lower yeah that's a good value now select a layer move it and hit ctrl T and resize it till it fits that shape of our height map so later we won't be having trouble in getting the textures fixed on the train I think this is very good right now so just hit enter and change the opacity to 100% and now we have to export this PNG export as wait for it ok hit export I will just do it in the downloads Mercer Island, I will replace it. Okay, now let's see the results in here. Let me open it. Yeah, now let's take it into Unity. Wait for it to import. Before doing anything else, just increase the max size to the maximum hit apply wait for it and now we have to create a train layer from the menu create items and here in the train layer and take it to the diffuse map and change the site to 8000 and 8000 now select the train going to paint texture inside the layers 
add layer and new train layer and you can see the textures is being applied however you might uh, get these very loud quality so you have to get back into the settings and increase the height map resolution to maximum control texture resolution to maximum and base texture resolution to maximum now you're getting better results and the lighting system has started to rebake the maps and one thing that you might notice is that the our texture is very glossy so we have to select our train layer take our texture this remember this is just a temporary fix you shouldn't uh, be doing this this is not okay just take it to the mask map open channel remapping and the red is for metallic so we do not have any metallicness in here just say to zero the green is for ambient occlusion so this should always be one and the blue is for height map we do not have any heights in here so set this one to zero and the alpha to zero the alpha is the hour smoothness so now the shine and the train has gone Okay, that's it for this video guys, I really hope you enjoyed it. In the future videos, I might be going over how to procedurally paint this train, so we do not have to go over all of the parts in this train, you know, this is real big to paint it, however, we can do it by code. So, I hope you enjoyed this video, if you have any questions, ask them in the comments, I will always be answering your questions. So, have a nice time. Stay safe and goodbye.